is what the room looks like, isn't it, Cooper? After a stream, you've sorted out that nicely for a bed. And the desk just looks like there's been an explosion, a very fun explosion. <laughs> oh, dear, look at that. I love it. Welcome to another process video. Let's go inside the craft room and see what I've been making this week. <laughs> and they all get down. <laughs> Hopefully we'll settle. We've had quite a busy morning. <laughs> I'll explain, I'll explain. Oh, so we're back from the lavender field. <laughs> We did have a lovely time. Here we are at the lavender field. We've we've had our walk, haven't we, Freddie? <laughs> and we're just going to sit down, have a little picnic, and do some art. <laughs> Hello, Goopa. <laughs> oh, there we are, wearing wearing them out. I've brought a little pile of bits with me. I've got some letters. Those were in my Happy Mouth from Melanie yesterday. Some fabric and a needle and a button. A little doily. That was in my Happy Mouth yesterday. Some painty papers. This little napkin on book paper. That was a lavender napkin from Beth, Beth and I've, I've put it on book paper. I love it when it shows through. Sitting amongst the rows of lavender. Let me stand up and show you. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> here we are. A hill <laughs> of lavender. Lots of visitors too. Here it is close up and bees. It's beautiful and lastly I've got a little from the magazine I think that was in Happy Mail too it's a little lavender fairy so I'm going to make a little page <laughs> I've got my signature here and this is lovely paper from I haven't stitched it together yet because it's more portable like that this was from coffee dye from Alicia. See, it's falling to bits. Hold on. I've got a paper clip. I've paper clip it together. And then I can do some gluing on this lovely page. <laughs> I wish you could smell the lavender. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to tack things down with glue because I might move them later. I put that wonderful doily in first. Let's layer up some of the pop some of the book text on. <laughs> so let oh look I'm getting all grass stuck on the glue stick. I'm gonna glue some of these paper, vintage book napkin papers down. I've got lots of help from Cooper. Not quite so used to the um, outdoor art as Freddie. <laughs> Freddie's quite relaxed and chilled because, because the lavender just smells so nice, I think. Oh dear. They've got some water because it's still quite hot. Lovely. Just popping these down and I can always, I can go over these. I can go over this when, when I get home and put some more glue on it. It's all right, Cooper. We'll have a picnic in a minute. We're gonna have a picnic in a minute, Cooper. Hmm. Just sticking things down. Let's rip some paper, shall we? That's always nice and satisfying. I bought some purple. It's all right, Cooper. 
You're waiting. You're waiting, Cooper. You're waiting. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. You're waiting. Mm. I'll show you a picture of little Fred in a minute. Oh, dear. Yeah, just some wipe-off paper, I think. But that lovely purple. And I'm literally just going to glue that down. Yeah, you're waiting. We're going to have a run around again later. Sometimes it's hard to wait, I know. It's hard to wait, isn't it? Mm, I know, I know. I know. There we are. Just bring it in. Quite a nice vintage lavendery feel. And here's some of that lovely napkin that Beth gave me. That's going right on there too. How lovely. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love it. Oh, this is a nice piece of painted paper because it's got some nice gold to it. There you go. Some more of that on somewhere. Oh, it's quite windy today. Here's little Freddy. <laughs> Here she is. I'm going to nestle her on this page i've got my pen but i'll probably do some doodling and finish it off when i get home because um i think cooper wants to be on the go again i've got my picnic little treat for the for the two doggies as well and i've got my cheese and pickle sandwiches and there's the branston some of you wanted to see what branston pickle looked like it's my it's my favorite go-to at the moment I've got my Dorset tea. I'll just pour that and let that see. <laughs> oh. There you go, Freddy. A little treat. And one for you, Cooper. Oh, no. I said he won't get them from the tub, and look, he is. Oh, never work with animals and children. <laughs> You thought it was like a little dish, did you? A little dish of treats. Oh, lavender as far as you can see. I love it. <laughs> little Freddy. Oh, and little Cooper. <sighs> the beekeeper. Mayfield lavender honey. Thank you so much. I just need to add some bits to this page. I like to have them loose so that I can I can work. <laughs> it's easier and then pop them together when you finish. I'm going to put some stitches. I could take this to the machine, but I just fancy doing some gentle slow stitching here all around the edge to make a frame for my little lavender flower fairy I didn't get a chance to show you the cake I've made when we were at the lavender field it's blackberry and apple <laughs> so we were going to have it on our little picnic but Cooper had had enough of um, sitting and resting <laughs> so yes I've brought it back and I've made myself a nice another nice cup of tea and I'm gonna eat my apple and blackberry cake we picked the blackberries last night on our, on our dog walk. Oh. I've got some of the somewhere on my desk. I've got some of it. Oh, here it is. Let me stretch across there. 
I've got some of the Mayfield lavender oil. I'm going to put that on my on my collage. Hmm. So it has a nice smell. There you go. I don't know how long it'll last, but it'll be lovely while I'm while I'm creating. <laughs> stitch around there and now I'm home I'll be able to glue these down properly now I'm on the table ah, and of course Sam's hoovering up now it's never quiet here these days is it <laughs> actually both Freddie and Cooper have settled um Sam's hoovering up after yesterday making his wardrobe so <laughs> we'll just carry on shall we that's real life isn't it <laughs> real life can't always be peaceful ah, there we are and I'm going to leave the thread hanging there it's quite subtle show up that much and I'm going to think what else do I need to add to my collage now where's my glue oh yes I've unpacked my bag so let's just glue these down a little bit and you don't have to finish a journal page straight away you can come back and do other things on it I'm going to doodle. Sometimes if you put a border around, it does bring a page together. I've got some lovely purple here. Look, it's a brand new Posca pen. When they're brand new, you need to shape them and then press them gently down to activate them. Here comes the purple. How lovely. So I'm just going to come round with a with a border. A border pulls it all together, I find. Some lovely dyed paper by Alicia and a dyed, tea dyed napkin from Melanie. I think it's coming on quite well. I think it probably needs some green. I can see the green stems there. I'm gonna get my Posca pen. You can see I've treated myself to some new ones. I really do like the Posca pens. They've got a nice shine to them. Just activate. You shake it up and then activate it. I was very aware that when we were at the lavender fields, there was these lovely in front of the camera. Stems of lavender. So I'm going to bring these up over the flower fairy. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm doodling. I'm doodling. <laughs> and I'm going to just make some little lavender heads here. Ah, oh, very easy to do. I'm just going to literally put some dots. Pointillism. <laughs> oh, how lovely. The lavender. Mm, it's gorgeous. Mm. I'll, I'll put one in the journal and then I'll dry some of the others to make little lavender bag. So, oh, hold on, before I do that, I'm just going to try some of the cake. It's made with, hmm, 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 very nice, hmm, hmm. It's made with, um, oh, what's the gluten-free flour? Hmm, really nice. Lovely. It's nice to pick 
things from the hedgerows. <laughs> Let me pull you closer so you can see. They're lovely. Really nice and juicy. Oh, the one's over the fence. Oh. Thanks, Katie. That's all right, with a siren in the background. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Croydon, isn't it? <laughs> There we are, just putting some little black marks, just some little scribbles really, just to, just to highlight them. Oh, if I'm putting in, I really don't, I, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just playing really. It's nice to experiment. Let me, let me put, if it's nice to have blacken let me try come in with some white yeah hmm. a nice type of art just really just putting some marks down hmm okay okay i'm feeling pleased with that i just want to do one more thing I did take some fabric with me and a pin, so I really, uh, really, really would like to sew on this wooden butterfly button. That was from, that was from Julia. Of course, I've got my thread tangled. Oh dear, it really is tangled. Let me just cut it. And we'll sort that out later. Now, where does this butterfly want to go on this picture? You're probably thinking you have an idea. <laughs> we'd all do different things, probably. Let me know in the description box below what's on your tables this week, what you've got planned. So, yeah, they're just going to sew this. Sew this button on. What about, I've already started on um, next week's project. Oh, that didn't make my, my needle unthreaded. Let me just thread my needle. Always a struggle, isn't there? I'm going to be, this week I'm going to be finishing off my, my house seams. I've got all the woodland pieces there. Thread my needle while we're chatting. Oh dear. We always have to thread a needle together, don't we? There we are. Keeping it real. I'm going to go underneath with that. And then at the back, I like to put some washi tape on it just to, just to hold it down. Because, of course, we're going to probably do... We'll be doing some art on the back here. This is Alicia's letter, but she said, do use this piece of paper. And I'm taking her, her at her word, and I am using it. So, I've got to do a tab yet. So, it's coming on. It's coming on. There's my picture so far. Got the butterfly and the stitching. And some real lavender. And what else? Oh, yes, I was going to make a tab. Let me just show you the tab I was going to make. Of course, it's all tangled up now because it was packed. <laughs> it's on a pin. This isn't a new idea. I saw it. Did I see it on someone's channel? And I don't know who it was. You'll have to tell me who it was. So what you do is you thread beads or dangles on a pin and then do it up like that and you can make a paper tag or a fabric tag i've got some i'm just looking in that from melanin and it literally just happens to look over it's not lavender but it's sort of lavender colored fabric so all you do 
is you thread your paper or fabric through like that and then you put some glue on it like this there we are and you can use it as a tab on your page and you've just got the little beads or the dangles there so I think I'm going to call that I'm going to call that done I love that part of this another page in this signature <laughs> actually the first page in this signature the second signature Yeah, lots of pages to go. I need to put a date and I'm going to do a little bit of journaling. That's not like me. First of August, no, second, got it wrong. Second of August and lavender fields, lavender fields with Freddie. And Cooper. Oh, I love that. And I haven't got any, I'm going to do some doodling because I haven't got any hearts on this page. So I think a little bit of, I think a little bit of doodling would be nice. Some bow stitching. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I'll say goodbye. Have a good week and look, they've both they both, oh, I needed to add the lavender to the page. Let's just snip that a little bit. Shall I sellotape it in? Yes. Let's see if I, oh, look, there's always things you can add. I haven't got any green. This one's from Alison, AJ Inspired Life. Let's use some of this. It's pink. Why not? Get some tape. And I will tape that lavender on like that. That might need some glue. I can add that later. And that's my page. <laughs> ah, so I'm going to say goodbye. Hold on, I just... Well, you can tell it's time for me to end the video because... It's all quiet and peaceful here now. That's Cooper's having a little drink. Mm. I'm going to continue on with my forest journal. And let me, just in case you didn't get a proper look, can you see it better there? There's my lavender, lavender journal page from today. Right. Have a good week and I hope you get a chance to relax and have a rest this week and maybe do some art. Take care everyone. Oh, actually, Flo, what are you up to? What are you up to? You look really busy. What have you been making? Oh, I'm making a tiny zine. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's out of um, a vintage map. That's a really good idea, actually, Flo. Yeah. And you put some airmail washi on it. Wonderful. We look forward to seeing what you're going to do on that next, Flo. <laughs> There's little Cooper. And little Freddy says goodbye, Fred. Say goodbye. Oh, it's me again. I just thought you might like to see. I'm in, I'm in the lounge. We're going to have a little relax, aren't we, Freddie? We're going to have a little relax, Freddie. Cooper might have a little relax too. Yes. <laughs> I thought you might, might like to see the progress on the Christmas blanket. I did the little snowballs. And I don't know where, when, you, when I last showed you. I think I'd showed you these like wintry Christmas trees. And then I've done the granny squares, which I did those on the holiday because you didn't have to take the whole blanket. Sorry, camera wobbled. That was young Cooper. <laughs> There's his little nose there. And then just this week, I've done 
a row of candy canes. So that's the red and white alternative. So I'm going to come back in now. I've got my nice blue icy wool, my crochet hook, two tired dogs, hopefully, and um, I'm going to sit with my feet up. Do you want to come up, Cooper? Come on then. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, take care, everyone. <laughs> amazing colour for a car and what amazing mural on the wall on the yes it's a wall near a railway bridge amazing let's go a bit closer can you believe that you right there Freddie wow an incredible work of art just under a railway bridge. Yeah. Some sort of storage unit. <laughs>